Hey, it's Jake Gagne. Thanks for watching Moto America on YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment, hit us with it. It's good to see BMW making a little bit bigger presence here as far as riders getting on some new motorcycles. And you get a look here at Gagne. Oh, no. And he's coming in the pits, isn't he? He certainly is. So for Jake Gagne, wow, it looks like he's not going to make the start of this race. There the lights go on, now we're ready to roll. Bikes are off and a good launch by the number 11. Petrucci didn't get the start, but it looks like a Titler's BMW did. So there goes Matthew Skultz in there, Cam Peterson in second spot, trying to find his way around and up and out of the saddle. Boy, is that Petrucci, Jason? Yeah, I think it was, Greg, and I'm seeing right now, you can see Skultz has taken the lead, Cam Peterson right there. I think both those BMWs of Barbara and PJ Jacobson, I think that's PJ Jacobson in third, Barbara fourth, Petrucci's gonna be there in fifth. The two Yamaha boys out front on the Westby bike and the attack bike, they're starting to get away ever so slightly through these S's. Great, that first turn is so crucial, isn't it? It's such a hard place to field 30 bikes right through the right through it on the start there. Now they're gonna come back up over the top of this hill, turn 10, down to the next hard break in turn 11 and onto the back straightaway. We'll get a chance to see. There goes Cameron Peterson on that fresh and lean progressive Yamaha. He tries to make a move on Skultz. It doesn't happen. Petrucci also got up underneath Barbara there um, going down into turn 11 as well. And I can see one of the vision wheel bikes there as well, probably Escalante it looks like as he's trying to go by Barbara now down the back straight. Oh, it's actually Jake Lewis. Jake Lewis slides his way there up underneath Hector Barbara. Petrucci now has his sights set on PJ Jacobson just ahead of him. Cam Peterson, small mistake there going into turn 11. Just got in there a little bit hot, created that little bit of a gap that Skultz has now back to second place. This track's so critical. It's so crucial to be able to make up time, but it's not an easy one. So Matthew Skultz, number 11 on that Westby Racing Yamaha, a Yamaha that has been retooled in the off season for better performance out front as Skultz looking for his first win of the season in our first race of the year. But Petrucci is on the mark. So Danilo Petrucci on that Warhorse HFCK Racing Ducati New York entry is looking pretty strong as he's in fourth place. Pulling him a little bit, Petrucci now having a look up underneath PJ Jacobson as he goes up into turn one. He's gonna make that pass, Greg. He's gonna run it out. He'll have the preferred line as they come down here into turn two. Good to see P.J. Jacobson mixing it up at the front with these boys already who have had basically two years on him. On this Ducati Penegali V4R, hoping for a podium, has put himself in a great position so far. There's a good look at P.J. Jacobson back in action on this new team on that BMW M1000RR. And talking to the team manager, Dave Weaver, he said this team's about 80%. Here's a pass for second place. Petrucci hard under braking will get by the corner that Cameron Peterson struggled with just a lap ago. So Petrucci now moves his way into second spot with all eyes here at Circuit of the Americas during this MotoGP weekend on Petrucci and what he can do. Well, he's done the work to get himself back on the back of Skultz. So some of that you talk about, Greg, might be playing its way into uh, realization in the sense that, hey, I've got here. Now maybe I can save some things a little bit as he's got a great run out of that last corner. He's going to pull up along the outside of Skultz. It's a hard place to do it. He's, oh, I thought he was up the, he was up the inside yeah, of him. Nice move. Yeah, really good. But see the turnaround that Skultz is going to go right back up underneath him. Well, Matthew Skultz, you thought you had it easy setting the pace, but welcome a MotoGP rider. Oh, oh and Skultz, he gets curb. a little out of shape. Jay, why is something like that happen yeah. for Skultz? Just, he just tripped in a little Ooh, early. Another he one. did it again there. He's just, he's tipping in a bit early, Greg, and hitting those inside curbings. That Westby Yamaha down the back straight. A much tighter line for the new Wow, yeah. what a great turning motorcycle right yeah. now for Petrucci. So the number 11, Matthew Skultz, is getting hounded by number nine, Danilo Petrucci. Here comes the Ducati into the lead, now under hard braking into turn number 12, and no fight from Skult. So there he is, just like that, on his fourth lap in Moto America. Petrucci takes over the lead. We're watching the battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth between PJ Jacobson, Hector Barbara, and Jake Lewis. And Jason, if you had to pick a rider right now in these three that you think has got a little bit of something, something to maybe stay in fourth or work his way to fourth? 
who would it be? Yeah, I think it's, for me, it would be Hector Barber. You know, the thing is, PJ is so small that it looks like he's able to get off the corners just a little bit better and get away from these guys. And Matthew Skultz. I'm not sure what he was just doing there. I saw him pull a tear off a little bit ago. But uh, yeah, he's definitely realized that second place is the best he's gonna do today as Petrucci gets it lit up out of turn 18. So here comes Petrucci. Looks like he's having some fun in the final corner, sending his Penegali V4R sideways. Onto the front straightaway comes the Warhorse HSBK Racing Ducati New York entry. He takes the checkered flag and the first victory for Ducati since race two at Indy in 2020. And Danilo Petrucci is made in victory in the Medallia Superbike Series. And congratulations, of course, he's with his MotoGP family and kicks off a great career in Moto America. And you can see it, Jason, it's that run at the beginning of him trying to claw in leader Matthew Skultz that really set the tone for this race for Petrucci. Yeah, those laps look pretty easy for him, to be fair. When he was got down to that 2086, there was probably a little bit of adrenaline from a bad start. He was able to get himself back onto the back of the leaders. Look at Matthew for a couple of laps, make the pass, and then just kind of run his own race. But Matthew Skultz has nothing to hold his head down about today either, Greg. 1.7 back at the end.